Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. In the next few days, the Indian Ministry of Defense will finalize the outline of the ambitious project to build six advanced submarines under the P-75I program. The government had indicated earlier that private shipbuilders would be involved in the construction of six submarines, but according to sources, Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders is likely to be given the responsibility to implement the project. Six Scorpion-class submarines are currently being built under Project 75 of the Indian Navy, which are designed by French firm Naval Group, and are being built by the Mazagin Dock Limited. Ukraine plans to modernize and upgrade MiG-29 airframes using its existing production capacities. The Russian MiG Corporation has informed all MiG-29 operators including India, not to deal with Ukrainian firms, who are offering low-cost support to its existing users, as local modernization works will make it an unstable aircraft. Russia's unreliability and unpredictability in the supply of spares and support to the Indian existing defense equipment, have allowed Ukrainian defense industry to get a foothold in India's defense market. Smudge Systems manufactured under the India-Russia joint venture, was tested successfully in Pokhran range today. The trials of this system were completed in the presence of Indian Army and Russian scientists. Under a joint venture between India and Russia in 2012, the modern system was agreed to be manufactured at the Ordnance factories in India. The RDO is planning to develop new system which will have more range than the Smudge Systems. The RDO is currently working on Pinaka Mark III, which has an increased range of 90 km. The Controller and Auditor General of India will audit the government's procurement of 36 Rafale fighter jets from France for $8.7 billion, but only after the deal is fully executed and the payments are completed. CAG audits most of the government deals, and the fact that a deal will be audited, doesn't mean there are problems with the particular deal. Defense Ministry officials have said, that they were not aware of such development. The government has approved the procurement of indigenously designed and developed defense equipment worth 5,500 crore rupees, which includes 12 high-power radars for high-altitude areas. The radars will provide long-range high-altitude cover, while detecting and tracking high-speed airborne objects following parabolic trajectories. The Acquisition Council has also accorded approval for procurement of hovercraft for the Indian Coast Guard and the Indian Army. Indian ships have reached the Pacific island of Guam for the joint naval exercises with the navies of Japan and US, and the focus will be on anti-submarine skills. The Indian ships doesn't have naval multi-role helicopters, that will limit their ability to track American and Japanese submarines that are part of the exercise. The Indian Navy is looking to procure the MH-60 Romeo helicopters, in a government-to-government -government deal with the US, which will enable ships to locate submarines beyond the limited radius of the onboard sensors. The Space Commission has given approval to Indian Space Research Organization to develop a semi-cryogenic engine, which will increase the lifting capability of its GSLV Mark III. The chairman of ISRO, Dr. K. Shivan has said that after a presentation before the Space Commission, ISRO has got the approval for developing the semi-cryogenic stage, and the deadline to develop this stage is 29 months, which will increase its lifting capacity from the existing 4 tons to 5 tons.